In a recent statement, Kevin O'Leary has underscored the imperative for assessing AOC's managerial prowess and the weight of accountability in leadership roles. I look at AOC, what an incredible, incredibly successful politician she is, and what a horrific manager she is. Her, her jurisdiction looks like a third world country, and, and yet she's great at social media and, and making outrageous statements and getting $5 at a time on you know, every way she can on social. Good for her. But wow, look what she did when Amazon came knocking for ten thousand. Yeah, that to me blew my mind. How does that I mean, you survive? So, so why would you want to reward that? Why wouldn't you say, "Excuse me, could I get better management, please? I live here, I pay taxes here, and I'd like a job. And I don't think you're doing a great job for me as a manager. How about I hire somebody else?" That's what I would encourage. Not that she isn't just great as a politician. There are countries that have weak leaders. There are states that have bad governors. I think people, the great thing about democracy, is say we can do better. Right. Putting up my head, let's do better. Do you think you, as you talk, I get this not personal, it's just business. Just business. But everything is personal now. No, not for me. I mean, you, what you did right there is you gave her a compliment in terms of her, her showmanship and how she does well on social media and she's, her, she used her platform and then you criticized the deed. You're like, she's you lost. Manager. Yeah, you're not, and Ooh, that should which, be, but which that one makes you, it? there's a lot of words I can throw. No, I agree with you. I'll say it with you. I'll say it. I don't. I'm like, who voted for this? And you can see it across the board. You can see it. It doesn't have to be AOC. We, you can take it to a re, well, super Republican a guy. Example. Yeah, but she's Which, a perfect example. What did cares I say that camera. wasn't true? Is she a Nothing. Well, she's a great politician. Let's celebrate that. Is she a bad manager? 100%. She's terrible. They're both true. They so if she be. was a business, I wouldn't hit that. You, would, you, <laughs> would you pass? Or would she, would, no, on let, Shark Tank, let would let she be a little specific. Yeah. I wouldn't let her manage a candy store. Wow. O'Leary's discourse appears to underscore the significance of adept governance and the ramifications of deficient administration, particularly concerning economic prospects and employment generation. His critique of AOC's managerial acumen can be construed as an assertion of individuals owning up to their actions and choices. O'Leary's emphasis on discerning between AOC's political and managerial competencies may be dissected to mirror the democratic principles of meritocracy and personal liability. It mirrors O'Leary's call for enhancement, AOC's interpretation of political acumen, and his dedication to individual integrity and continual self-development. It accentuates the necessity for pragmatic remedies and capable leadership to address societal dilemmas, endorsing policies and leaders, prioritizing efficient administration, and economic advancement. This stance might prod individuals to scrutinize their leaders and social frameworks critically, acknowledging the significance of personal responsibility and collective endeavors in shaping tomorrow's landscape.